Hey everybody, this is your divisibility video. Make sure that you have your notes in front of you. And here we go. Divisibility, everybody, is when a number can be divided evenly. So we're gonna, I'm going to ask you about a number. We're going to see, can a number be divided by evenly by 2? Yes or no? Can a number be divided evenly by 5? Yes or no? That's kind of what we're going with here. And we're not talking about remainder. So make sure your paper's on the right side. You're going to see this number at the top. This number is correctly uh, named 2,736. So we're going to ask you some questions about this specific number, 2,736. So make sure your notes show that. Okay, so my question is, is this number divisible by 2? So hopefully this is an easy one. How do you know if a number is divisible by 2? You know if a number is divisible by 2 if the 1's digit is even. Remember, you can hit pause at any time to catch up with me if I'm going too fast. The ones digit in this case is a six. Is the six even? Yes. So you don't have to do any division here to see does two go into this or not. Yes, two goes into it because six is even. Easy. Uh, okay, so let's check to see if three goes into a number. Here's how we know if three goes into a number. If the sum of the, di of the digits is divisible by three. So what does the sum of the digits mean? That means I'm gonna add from the 2,736, I'm going to add 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6. Let's hear that again. That's fine. So if I add these digits up, 2 and 7 and 3 and 6, I get 18. What good does that do me? Does 3 go into 18? Yes, it does. Therefore, 3 goes into 2,736. Answer, yes. By the way, this whole time you have a table to the right on your notes, a yes or no table. You can be putting yeses and nos in there. Okay, the number four. How do you know if four goes into this 2,736? Four goes in if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by four. So after you write that down, hit pause whenever you need to. Check with what I've got here for you. The last two digits make a 36. Does 4 go into 36 evenly? Yes, it does. So what does that tell you? That tells you that 4 goes into this entire number, 2,736. Okay, next section. Does 5 go into 2,736? Well, this should be, hopefully, is a simple one. The 1's digit needs to be a 5 or a 0 for 5 to go into something. Is the ones digit a five or a zero? No, it's not, it's a six. So the answer here is no. Six, does a six, does six evenly go into 2,736? Well, here's how you tell. If both two and three go into this number, so we've already determined that. Does two go in? Yes, two goes in because it's even. Does three go into this number? Well, we added all the digits up. They were 18. Did, did 3 go into that? Yes. So since 2 and 3 both go in, the answer is yes. 6 goes into this number. Now, obviously, at this point, if you need to know how many times it goes in, you can determine that by the different ways we've worked on. But we're looking for does 2 go in, does 3? Yes, they do. Okay. We're skipping 7 and 8. We're going to do those in class. 9. How do you know if 9 goes into a number? Exactly the same as 3. We've got to add the digits, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So will 9 go into the sum of the digits? Well, if you remember, the sum of the digits gave, gave us 18. Does 9 go into 18? Yes, it does. So that means 9 can go into this number. And the last one for this video is 10. 10 might be the easiest one. We know 10 goes into a number if it ends with a 0. If the 1's digit is a 0. In this case, is the 1's digit a 0? No, it's a 6. Therefore, 10 does not go into this number. So your chart on the side should look like this. I hope you hit pause many times so that you could catch up with all the stuff that I was talking very quickly about. Um, on the other side of the paper where we started, I guess, is a homework assignment that deals with 738. It looks like this. Please have that one for tomorrow in class.